What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual. Back with another bang of the day, guys, on this week's edition of Will You Sleep or Will You Keep? Guys, man, hey, these dreads are long, bro. I'm thinking about cutting these dreads in like in October, bro. Should I just trim them? Should I cut them short? Should I go with the with with the fade? Should I go with the with the fro with the temp side? You know, tempers on the side. You know, let me know, man. But I'm looking at myself right now. I'm looking literally right now, right, bro. You can't even see the Adidas on my shirt, bro. Swinging, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, like on the back, bro. Like, damn. Time, it might be time for them to go, right? Is it time? Let me know down below, man. Taper, trim, let me know. We got tons of shoes to talk about this week, guys. Tons of bangers for the Bucks. Let's dive right into it and let's get to it, man. There you go. First things first, man, we had released today was the Nike SB Dunk Low, What the P-Rod. Paul Rodriguez, a well-known skateboarder. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know this guy that much. Right? I, don't, I don't even know about him because of the shoes. Forgive me, you skateboarders out there. Call me a hype beast. Call me whatever the hell you want to call me. But the What the P-Rod dropped today sold out and it's going for around 900 plus, thousands of dollars probably by now. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Whoever's out there buying that shoe, hey, let me get some of that. You know what I'm saying? Let me get some of that good stuff you smoking on. But Because I, I ain't spending no $900,000 on a dunk, okay? And on any shoe at that point, you feel me? But the What the P-Rod, Paul Rodriguez has dropped several different Nike dunks in the past. So many that he's been able to acquire his own what the shoe. Great others that have done the what the's, LeBron, Kobe, I like Kobe's the most, and the what the dunk. There's some other ones, maybe there's a what the K, I'm pretty sure there's a what the KD, what the Kyrie, I'm pretty sure there's other what the's out there. Now, P-Rod, as they call him, has his own what the. Now, I think he says over 10 styles or signature colorways or whatever collabs with Nike SB. And this one's it's fairly nice, man, I like it. Is it worth a thousand? Hell to the no. You can kiss my ass. So moving on, sold out. It's a pass because I was never gonna be able to get it. Then we have releasing on the 28th, the Nike Air Force One Experimental Postal Ghost. Now this is a shoe supposedly that UPS tried to sue Nike for. U USPS, my bad, I, don't, I, don't, I know there's a million people out there that call it UPS, even though it's not UPS, it's USPS. We get confused with it because UPS, this sounds better. UPS, you guys are winning on that. but. USPS trying to get some money, man, some hungry money. And I appreciate y'all, but I like FedEx and UPS more than USPS now. Y'all y'all be slacking, bro. Bro, we had to switch from y'all. Y'all don't be delivering packages, straight up. So I don't even give a damn if y'all go out of, well, I can't say it because then I don't know who the hell is going to get mail. Give, give the mail to UPS and FedEx, bro. USPS, y'all just, y'all suck, bro. Straight up. Yeah, that's why Nike don't use y'all. No, Sample don't even use y'all no more. Pure don't even use y'all because y'all don't deliver shit. Sorry for my mini rant, but that's just how I feel about them. But overall, the shoe itself, it's cool. I really want the sale one. Y'all know how I've been talking about this shoe. So overall, I'm not walking around. I'm not walking around with no damn uh, post office shoes on my feet. I'm sorry, okay? Salute to my brother Mike, by the way. Mike, I, I, you know I got love for you, brothers. And you've always done the best of the best when it comes to, you know, when it comes to the work. So I, I want you to know. Personally, if you, I want you to run USPS. They need to hire your ass, you know what I'm saying? So, salute to Mike, but this shoe is a pass. We also have releasing on the 28th, the Nike Dunk High Premium Embroidery, I'm thinking it's calling it. It's some, it's some, it's a Lakers, Nike Dunk Lakers. It's featuring a purple, black, yellow, Nike on the back with a Lakers type of font going on it. I think they're dope. Would I pick them up? I would definitely pick them up. I've seen other ones that are possibly coming out. I think there's like a Dodgers ver version of it. Um, possibly some other ones coming in the near future. I'm not going crazy over this one, but I wouldn't mind adding it to the arsenal. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind adding this colorway up and you know making the thing pop, man. Making it make it make it make making it make its due. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But uh, the Nike Dunk premium embroidered whatever retails $110 it's definitely a keep for me but it's gonna be an L because I, bro I don't I don't even wake up for shoe releases anymore honestly guys I just don't there's no reason there's no reason then we have releasing also on the 28th the women's exclusive Jordan 3 rust pink these are looking fairly nice they're extended size and more than likely is up to my size but this is where I might have to draw the line. You guys know, I'll go get a pair of women exclusive because at the end of the day, all white fours in my opinion, 
or a men's shoe that was turning women exclusive. The Ama Manier was also because at the end of the day, they got the men and the women's size on there. Jordan brand knows what they're doing. They're trying to make it a women's exclusive, but then put a men's size on it. They want people to go fight for those. You feel me? This is another one. I believe that this is going to be a women's exclusive and extended size as well, but I just don't get jiggy with that color of the pink. Now, Nikki, she loves this shoe. So I probably will be picking it up for her. I'll probably get a review out to you guys as soon as possible. And hopefully I can even get Nikki to do the on feed for me because I need somebody to do it. You feel me? So stay tuned. I think these are cool though. I think the colorway is dope. I think the whole shoe is dope. And look, I'm wearing I'm wearing pink right now, right? I like salmon, but I don't like that color. That, that color pink was, it's just, I don't know. I don't know, man. Maybe I'll grab it for the review, keep it in my possession, think about it, sit and stare at it, you know what I'm saying? And then make an honest decision, but I'm kind of good on that. Then we have releasing on the 29th, the Nike Air Griffey Max 1. This is the Varsity Royal colorway. It's $170. We've seen what the other ones have done in the past. I've talked about it about four or five times, and it's finally getting its release date because we've talked about this shoe releasing it's, it was like every week it was almost like it was releasing that upcoming week. Well, it's officially on the sneakers app. I'm going to make sure that I get more and more precise with these release dates because there's a lot of shoes that I tell you guys that are releasing that don't end up releasing. They get pushed back. They get moved around. And a lot of it is rumors. But I'm going to make sure to get more factual stuff for you guys and girls. And if it's a rumor, I'll let it be known. Okay, so stay tuned for that. But these... Dope, clean, pick up, pat, uh, I said pat, keep, and uh, they're going to they're gonna sell out though. Now, there is rumored that for the 29th, there'll be two colorways of Yeezy Foam Runners dropping. That is a mineral blue and a sand. We talked about the sand, I think, last week or two weeks. We talked about the sand. We have a rumored release date that these are dropping on the 29th. And along with that, and then last but not least, we have a rumor release on the 31st, the Yeezy 380 Alien Blue. Hey man, there's word around town that the UFO information and all that stuff, all those UFO sightings and the government classified information has to be released sometime in June or something. So be on the lookout. UFOs are going to be a big thing popping, panties dropping and uh, non-stopping, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you've been abducted, let me know, man. I would like to know. We get an interview with you guys on a two hour TV podcast or something like that. You feel me? Stay tuned for that. But these overall, these are clean. I missed out on the original Alien colorway. The Alien Blue, though, this is something that I'm gonna, I might need to reach out to some people. Might need to reach out to RSVP Kings on this one, man. Might need to hit up my dude, bro. Because uh, I be having trouble with this type of stuff. And um, I need a pair of these. I want a pair of these. These are clean. What, what you guys think? Keep. I'm looking at that picture right now. These 230, that blue. Looking nice, looking nice. And then as far as we go into leak news, we have so much stuff dropping in June, guys. It's crazy, bro. So the first thing off the rip, dropping next week, we have the Jordan 1. This is the women's, my bad, Jordan 1 metallic purple. Oh, my bad. They're calling it the, the court purple. Retail is 170. Women extended sizes. Going to be a men's slaughter gang release, you know what I'm saying? Um, you're releasing a iconic... Let me just check this one out. So we have releasing a Jordan 1, uh, they're calling it the court purple, but it's like a metallic purple. You're releasing a classic colorway that was a European exclusive, only as a women's exclusive in extended sizes. You know what you're doing, Jordan brand. Why are y'all doing this? Ladies, this is not your fault. And I'm not blaming you ladies at all because I know y'all want y'all shoes, but they're like setting y'all up for failure with some of these releases calling them women exclusives, doing them in extended sizes. This is a OG, this, well, this release I think originally back in 2009 as a European exclusive. Now the metallic navies, those are older. I think the metallic, the metallic navy, the red ones dropped. I don't think these released back in 1985 or whatever when they, the, cause those metallic navies, them, them things dropped years ago, like a long time ago as far as I remember, forgive me. In 85 I was in my dad's nutsack. So if I get my history wrong, forgive me for not knowing something I can't remember. I mean, I probably wasn't even in my dad's nutsacks. I probably was just nothing. You feel me? But um, you're dropping this in the women's. You get the goddamn picture, okay? The shoe overall, I like a lot. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to review it. You might be, you're going to see it this week. You might see it tomorrow if I feel like it. You feel me? You might see that shit tomorrow. You want to see it tomorrow? Hit that like button. Let's get the thing up to 2,000 likes and we'll get it tomorrow. How about that?
You feel me? Now, I, mean, I, I doubt we'll get 2,000 likes, but this shoe overall, clean, 170, white and metallic purple. It's definitely a shoe I'm gonna pick up. I don't know if it's a shoe I'm gonna keep. I don't know if I care too much about it. I love my metallic navies, but I don't know if these are just, eh, you know, I don't, I don't know. To each his own. I gotta see them in hand to make a decision. I've actually seen them, but I didn't really investigate them. So we'll do that video and that investigation very, very soon. Very, 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 very soon. But it's gonna more likely be a keep. We also have releasing on the third, the Nike Dunk Low Varsity Maze, as we like to call them. Another uh, just gonna be hype release, keep, but definitely just L's automatically. You know what I'm saying? Um, I need to start looking around. I need to start asking some people. I need to start Use, pulling some strings and using using some clout to try to get some of these releases. In all honesty, I'm being 100 because I really be wanting some of these colorways and these shoes, and I can get them. I just don't be really asking around. You know what I'm saying? Like AJKO, I let that one slip from underneath me. A lot of shoes I let slip that I could really just ask people like to look out or help me or something like that. I do got a big banger coming in pretty soon from a homie that we got some new sneaker stores we're gonna be pulling up on. So stay tuned on that. And uh, we're gonna start making some moves, man. I'm gonna start grabbing some real stuff, like some stuff that, some hype stuff. Stuff that I really want that's hype. I like it, so it's hype. Just, just wait, you'll get the picture. But this one, clean, keep. We talk about it several times, so it is what it is. Then we have releasing on the 50 Jordan 6 Electric Green. I've been kind of on the seesaw effect when it comes to these. These are the quote unquote Oregon. I wonder if they're gonna feature the Inspired logo on the inside, the sole like on the inside because this is, a, I believe this is another one of these inspired collections, but at the same time, it possibly is not. Be, well, no, it, ha it could be, it could be. I gotta see, let me let me look this up, let me just click it. The reason why I say this is because the five was in Oregon, it had it on the back, the three was a was a UNC Tar Heel, it had it on the, on the, on the insole, the four was a Tar Heel, it had it on the, in, on the tongue, we haven't seen it yet on the six. Okay, so I'm looking at pictures right now, right? And it, I'm looking at the insole, and you'll see the pictures on the B-roll shots. There, there is no inspired on there. Now I'm reading something from Sneaker News. It says sit above Jumpman branding. Oh, okay, so there's no Nike Air on the back. Electric green. So yeah, there is no uh, inspired on this one. So overall, I think it's a good looking shoe. I definitely will pick it up. Is it something I'm gonna keep in the long term? That part I do not know. I don't. Oh, well. I have, I think I, I think I sold my Altitude 13, so I really don't have any green, electric green, neon, whatever you want to call it. So I'll have to just kind of wait and see how I feel about this when I get the review out to you guys. I have infrared sixes already. I didn't get the UNC sixes that dropped a while back, so this could possibly be something that could stay around for a little bit to add some more flair to my six collection. Because right now that thing is, it's not that many sixes. I got Carmine's, those. Damn, I ain't even wear my Carmine's in a minute. Are my Carmine's, they right there, yeah. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Electric green though, dropping on the fifth, 170, 190. We'll have to see. It's rumored also on the seventh that the Yeezy 700 M V N M. How do you pronounce this one? The N uh, M N V N Bright Scion will be dropping at 220. We've seen this model of the Yeezy 700 for so long now, and we have yet to actually get like a drop. There's been drops of the shoe, like the orange one I think dropped or the black one, I guess, but they've just been so subtle. They sold out so inst so instantly. We haven't gotten so like a, a lot of these, like we've gotten 350s every single week or or even 380s that have dropped a lot. We haven't got many versions of this shoe. So I'm looking forward to getting this. I would love to grab it. I would love to keep this one. I love this specific colorway. It looks nice in my opinion. So I'd love to add it to the arsenal, however, Knowing how they've done previously, I don't expect them to be an easy easy thing to get your hands on, so it is what it is. And then on the 11th is rumored that there's a Yeezy 700 Inflamed Ember, which reminds me a lot of the Yeezy 700 Sun. 240 is the retail price point. It looks a lot like the Sun, uh, less Wave Runner look and more Sun with a different type of color tone on the front. It's like browns and all that. I think it's a cool colorway. Something I wouldn't mind adding, honestly. I love I love the new 700 colorways that they got dropping out. I don't know, I like them a lot compared. The inertias were good too back in the day, but these are these hit a little bit different. I don't know what it is about these. They're, they just hit slightly different in, uh, in my opinion. I don't know, something about it. Damn, wait, I just thought about something. Hold on, are we on V3 700s already? We are, right? Yeah, I'm like, I'm thinking, I was like tripping, like, damn, we are on easy 700 V3s already. 
And this is the V1. Time flies. Then we have supposedly the Fusion Red Jordan 1 dropping on June 21st. I'm gonna try to get my hands on that pretty soon for you guys and girls out there. I'm loving these a lot. They remind me like of a McDonald's colorway. Then it kind of reminds me somewhat of a, I guess you could say like a uh, Hawks, Atlanta Hawks a little bit. It's got a little bit of Fusion Red, which has some pink tones to it, but it's definitely a clean colorway. The quality looks really good on the shoe as well. So stay tuned as a review or a unboxing or a got them early is coming soon. Check him out, stay tuned. But definitely a pickup, keep. So speaking of next week, we have the release supposedly on June 4th. I think, I think it's actually on sneakers now. Can't lie, I, I gotta correct me if I'm wrong. But that is of the LeBron 8 Low Miami Knights. Now, people told me, like, I was thinking this shoe was dropping, 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 dropping. And then people told me it had already dropped. People are telling me now that it already dropped. Did it already drop? Did it drop on Foot Locker or something already, guys? Like, what the hell happened with the shoe? Let me tell you why. I went ahead and bought them early on StockX. I'm getting them today. Got them early, probably tomorrow. You feel me? That's what type of that's what type of time we on right now. Because, bruh, like these shoes, right? It's weird, but I didn't know what happened. The thing is, the shoe price. It's only going, the shoes are not even going for over retail. They're going for like retail. Retail plus shipping after taxes and everything, the price is crazy. Like these were once a shoe that probably went for thousands of dollars. I would say it went for like close to like at least 800 and up. Just as limited to some people as LeBron South Beach, but these were going for 200. Got them for like 220 after everything. They're retailing for 180. 180 plus shipping plus tax, you're paying around 200, 220. I got them for that much on StockX. They're coming from DHL, so I think they're coming from overseas. They must have released already overseas in China. Stay tuned for those because they're coming. I might drop that video tomorrow, but whoo! Hey, it is what it is. To each his own. I pick up what I like at the end of the day. This is a keep for me. I don't give a fuck what people are thinking. They can go for $100. I'm not going to change my my swag. I'm picking them up. I told y'all I wanted them. Hey, South Beach can go for 50 bucks. I'm still getting them. I'm my own hype. You be your own hype too, okay? Little lesson learned, but yeah, they're releasing this week now. I thought I, I went and got them on StockX because I thought that they had already dropped and I missed out on it. Come to find out, no, they haven't dropped yet. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's just confusing, bro. It's confusing. Yep. And then we got some better images of the upcoming Jordan Four Lightning. Now this are these are set to release in August. The pictures look good. Um, I don't have nothing really to complain about right now. I'm just gonna chill out. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm not gonna get too hyped about it. This for the shoe to come and be trash can, just, you know, fallopian to dick water sauce quality. So I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna be peaceful and stay tuned for that. But better images are out that we're showing you right now. And last but not least, we're gonna talk a little bit about the Foot Locker shutting down of foot actions. We're gonna talk more about this on my podcast more than likely today, but Foot Locker is shutting down. They're shutting down, well, my bad, Foot Action. Foot Locker are, Foot Locker is shutting down all of the Foot Action stores. Everything is shutting down. All Foot Actions are shutting down. Foot Locker is not shutting down. But Foot Action is no more. Now, as far as it being an online domain where you can go online to footaction.com, that is still yet to be determined. Foot Action, as you guys may or may not know, was pretty much the way Foot Locker does things is they, they like to categorize everything. Foot Action was a part of the lifestyle line of clothing and shoes, you feel me? Champs is more dedicated towards sports. Foot Locker, I don't know what the overall premise of what Foot Locker was. I forgot that, let me see if I can find it. All right, so I'm looking here, guys. I don't know the exact differences. I can't even be 100% for you, bro. I'm not gonna cap. But Champs and East Bay are more so dedicated towards the athletes. Foot Action was dedicated dedicated towards the lifestyle. Foot Locker, the overall parent company. Maybe they oversee every single thing. And uh, yeah, that's about it, you know. They are shutting down foot actions, not because of money. They have actually, I think, went up, uh, I was reading, let's read it right here, I can actually, I don't mind reading it to you. Okay guys, so I'm reading right here that revenue increased 82% year after year. So that's to $2.15 billion in revenue. And that Foot Locker's digital business grew 43% on a comparable company analysis a report regarding the future remaining foot action retail costs was shared. So I actually dive into this little article a little bit to find out more. As you can see, 
the revenue was not the issue. They were making enough money. They grew 82, 80%, 43% on the internet. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that they just have so many stores already. Foot Locker, Champs, East Bay, and now Foot Action. What they're going to do at one third of all the foot actions out there that are out there, one third of them are going to be transitioned back into foot lockers. And those foot lockers are going to focus more primarily on women or expanding on the women's branding of shoes and clothing alongside with kids. As you guys know or maybe remember, back in the days we had tons of kids foot lockers, tons of lady foot lockers, and all that kind of just disappeared over with time. And now we're moving forward. And is is in and right now at this time, women and sneakers have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. Women run the retail marketplace, the clothing marketplace. And I think that they understand that and they want to cater more and more to women and kids. Not to say that's wrong, just to say that it's been unbalanced. Men have been here and the women and kids have been down here. They want to bring them up to a better platform and get a wider audience of customers. And I respect that. Because at the end of the day, kids Parents are buying their kids new basketball shoes each and every year or month, depending on how much they got to play sports in. They got gear that's catered for women to want to get something nice, Champion, Nike, Adidas, whatever it is. They want to focus for everybody. So they're going to be changing and transitioning these foot actions into that. And I think that they also are seeing the fact that they can make just as much money with less stores. We're slowly, slowly becoming an e-commerce country and world. You know, nobody goes to malls. Malls are shutting down left and right. There's two malls, like the, the, the North DeKalb Mall is about to be totally shut down. They're turning it more so into like an Atlantic station. And what's funny is that back in the early 80s, you know what I'm saying? My grandfather told me that North DeKalb Mall, look it up. That's the mall, the dead mall, right? was one of the first enclosed malls in the country. Before that, before North DeKalb Mall though, what used to be of a mall was basically what you see at Atlantic Station, what you kind of see at outlets where when you're walking, there's a store here, there's a store across and you just walk, it's like a plaza almost. You would walk into, you wouldn't walk into inside any type of building, you would just walk in an opening and there'll be a Nike there, there'll be a Foot Locker there, it'd be a, a Wilson's Leather there, Gap there. So you're walking in and out of these stores, like almost like an outlet, like Tanger Outlets, kind of like an open market, like I said, Atlantic Station. Um, there's tons of different places. I can't even remember. Like, I don't know them all. Maybe you got one in your area. But North DeKalb was that first one that when you walked inside, it's an inside version. It's in capsules. There's a food court and all that's in one big building. And it, <clears throat> it seems like the world is going back to the old ways with the markets on the outside you know they, they, they that's what the world or that's what retail is kind of going back into when you're walking to like atlantic station you got h&m over here you got a foot pl uh food place over there you got the, the theater over there but you have to walk outside you have to walk left and right it's like a little market they, they're going more for the open market and and then closed market and uh not to say that like that's what nike's going to but I'm just saying that we're going from an e-commerce to more of a, I mean, we're going from a brick and mortar to more e-commerce. So less stores are out there in general, less malls, less brick and mortars. And I think that foot action is something that they easily can get rid of and still maintain that lifestyle presence through Foot Locker Champs, East Bay, and their other markets out there. Um, Flight 23 became something really big with foot action. So I'm curious to know, will they maintain Flight 23 or will they bring it along? Because I believe Champs has Puma, Foot Locker has House of Hoops. So, I, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of confused. I'm curious how that would turn out. Well, I'll just wait and see. Just have to wait okay. and see. So, yeah, guys, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. I don't think Foot Action is going to do... I mean, I, I ain't no problem with Foot Action, but eh, keep it moving. You feel me? Straight up. I ain't, I ain't never won nothing from Foot Action, so, hey, I don't really care. Hey, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on it down below. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one, man. It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace. Go and subscribe to my secondary channel, Too Wild for TV. I'm out.